Hey everyone, Skull902 here for a bit of a more speculative video. So, Sonic the Hedgehog, everybody knows him. Star of his own video games, television shows, comic book series, and now even in his own films. Sonic has clearly been a household name for some time, but is Sonic actually as healthy as he seems? Sounds crazy, but I've found some things that might be seen as shocking, with the potential to cause ripples into the community. Ripples, I say! So yeah, let's begin. First things first. This year, Sonic will be 31 years old, which means he's old as fuck, especially by Hedgehog standards. What an old fart geezer, am I right? Unlike me, I'm only 27. At first, I thought nothing of it, considering he's playing a teenager in-universe and does it very convincingly. However, our mutual friend Bill Clinton messaged me one day saying, and I quote, Skull 902, I'm concerned for the physical well-being of our friend Sonic, and I hope you can see the reasoning behind my opinion. I had the FBI do some digging, and what they found goes deeper than I expected. I've included the evidence in this package. It'll be difficult to be the informant to the messes, but I believe you can do it. Also, it's been four months and I still haven't gotten my pipe back. I miss it. So I got to work, taking a look at what Bill sent me. In his evidence were videos taken of Sonic at various points in time, like this video, for instance, of a young Sonic at the Sonic Tuesday event in 1992. See how he's hardly able to shuffle around, struggling with the boxes? Something tells me he suffered an injury around this time that had some lasting effects on him. Sure, he had his good days, such as this Japanese event in 2004 where he's dancing up a storm, as well as in this random gif I have saved on my computer. Then, of course, there's the advertisements and promotional videos where they're clearly using advanced cinematic editing techniques to make things look like it's all fine. I mean, come on. Do you think Sonic could look this lively without the help of movie magic? However, when you look at some other videos of him, you can tell he was constantly in pain. Like here, where he's being helped backstage after a public appearance at GameWorks Ontario, this 2015 appearance at Tokyo Joy Palace where he's clearly got mobility issues, or at E3 2010 when Aaron Weber, Supreme Overlord of Sega, forced him to play Sonic 4 standing despite the fact he can barely hold himself up. Still not convinced? Well, here's the most damning piece of evidence. 2016 San Diego Comic Con. Sega's holding a 25th anniversary party for the Blue Blur, and the man of the hour is here himself. But look at the poor guy, trying his hardest to bust a move when his body clearly isn't in any condition to do so. Being helped on and off stage by multiple people, it's a sad sight to see just how broken down the hero of our generation truly is. But the question remains, if this is really the case, how is Sonic still so spry in his games? After thinking long and hard about it, smoking from my fancy pipe all the while, I've come to a conclusion and the answer is quite simple. He's not. And the reason why is because the original Sonic himself hasn't starred in any of his games since the big tonal shift Sega made to the series in 2010. Instead, the reins have been passed over to Manic the Hedgehog. No, not this deadbeat Elmer's glue-addicted kleptomaniac from Sonic Underground. His sister sells tacos. I'm talking about Manic the Hedgehog with a K from the Archie comics and they went to some extreme lengths to make it more subtle as well, such as renaming him Other Sonic to throw off suspicions, or having him get cosmetic eye color surgery to make his blue eyes green, even though nobody in the history of the universe has ever cared about Sonic's eye color. But they made one crucial mistake. In Sonic Mania, his idol animation is like this, when the real Sonic would have done it like this. Big difference. Check fucking mate, Sega. You've been found out. Despite this, you can see the love Sonic has for his fans by continually making these increasingly dangerous public appearances, to which I plead. Please, Sonic, for your fans, and more importantly for your own safety, please retire while you still comfortably can. Your son's been doing the heavy lifting for over a decade. I'm sure he's ready to represent Sega at these functions now. You've done so much for the fans and gaming in general over the years. If anyone deserves a peaceful retirement, it'd be you, man. And that's all I have to say on this matter. I can only hope that you'll all be able to forgive me for uncovering this sad, shocking truth. I have been Skull902, thank you for watching, and if you thought I was actually being serious, what the fuck is wrong with you? Please give me money for uncovering the secret. However, our mutual friend Bill Clinton wants... <laughs> this is gonna be so fucking stupid.
or at E3 2010 when Aaron Weber, Supreme Overlord of Sega, forced him to... Instead, the reins have been passed over to Manic the Hedgehog. No, not this de- <laughs> No, not this deadbeat. Fuck. No, not this deadbeat Elmer's glue-addicted kleptomaniac from Sonic Underground. <laughs> okay.